You see, when, when, the, when the religious leaders were not attacking Jesus directly, they actually had uh, another scheme that they used. Let me explain what, what strategy the religious leaders used against Jesus. Uh, the religious leaders oftentimes attacked Jesus indirectly when they weren't attacking him directly. And one of their strategies was to complain to Jesus about the disciples. They, they would come to Jesus and say things like, Jesus, how come your disciples, they, they don't keep the Sabbath like we keep it? Uh, Jesus, how come the, your, your disciples are, are, are not keeping the traditions of, of the elders like we keep them? And, and then they would go to the disciples and they would complain to the disciples about Jesus. They would come to Jesus, I mean, the, to the disciples, and they would say, um, disciples, how come Jesus eats with sinners and, and, and tax collectors? You see that strategy that the, they were using? They, they, would, they would complain to Jesus about the disciples, and then they would complain to the disciples about Jesus. What were the religious leaders trying to do? They were trying to what? Create a wedge. They were trying to get in between Jesus and, and the disciples. And by the way, be careful with people who try to get between you and Jesus. Be careful with people that try to drive a wedge between you and, and Christ, maybe trying to sow a seed of doubt in you. Uh, be careful with people who, who try to get between two brothers in Christ or a brother and a sister in Christ or a sister and sister in Christ. They, they come to you to talk to you about somebody else. If you've got a problem with somebody, what should you do? You need to go talk to who? To somebody else, you need to go talk, well, you might get advice, but you need to go to that person directly. 